Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, as you see in my last video, I'm going to do a room tour for my 100 subscribers, finally reaching 100 subscribers. So again, thanks very much. Uh, this might be a lengthy video, but uh, yeah, and also if you see anything in this room tour um, that you want me to go more in depth about, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try and do a, its own separate video on it. Um, gonna start with sort of like my setup here um, and then I'll make my way around this way but I'll start over near the door because then I can open it back up because it gets really warm in here um, so above my door I've got my Nintendo 64 controllers um, just fills a nice gap up there and it looks really cool got my Red Dead Redemption 2 poster on the back of the door still haven't played too much of that game um, looking forward to it though and my WWE 2K18 poster. And behind the door, we have the Savage World, um, I guess, horror muscle figures. I was originally just going to get um, Leatherface and Myers, but then I just got the whole, I got the whole set. Um, I also noticed that they spelt Myers wrong. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. Um, just got a big flag here of Step Brothers, because that's an awesome movie, <laughs> awesome quote from the movie too. So yeah, I'm just going to open the door back up for a bit more, get it cool in here. Um, then I've got my Star Wars original trilogy posters. I really love the look of these above the TVs. Again, sorry about the lighting, it's not the best in here. <clears throat> uh, down the side here. Just have a couple of pictures, a uh, little one for me and my boy. Um, uh, a quick update, he is doing really well right now, so that's great. And one he got me for his first Father's Day, that's his like, that's like a footprint of his foot in like green paint <laughs> with Yoda Best Dad, which I think is really cute and awesome. Uh, come down, I've got a little frame that I painted orange. Um, these were actually the art cards out of my 4K release of Halloween. So I just thought I'd frame them up and stick them there. Uh, coming to like here, I've got a um, Imperial Stormtrooper from Rogue One. It's like a 1-6 scale, I believe. Um, I have my 65-inch Sony 4K television. Um, yeah, really awesome. Cannot fault that whatsoever. Um, just a few little like Nintendo figures down here. Um, got my Switch box, my AV consoles, which are all listed there. So they're all hooked up to the TV at once. I just got to hit a switch and it'll change to the one I'm after. I have my Plantronics rig headset, which is an awesome gaming headset. Uh, also good for when people are going to sleep and you want to watch a movie pretty loud because you can do it through that. Um, then we got my consoles. Got my 360. Sorry, it's a bit dusty. Uh, my 3DS. Got my red PS3. PlayStation 4. Xbox One S. That's what I watch my um, 4Ks on. I don't know if you're going to see that well. It's like a Dragonborn thing off Skyrim. Original Xbox. My VHS player and my uh, all-region Blu-ray player. And over here I've got my modded Wii, which has every retro game on it. PS2 Slim. And my um, awesome Pikachu Nintendo 64. See, so yeah, I have all these hooked up to the TV at once, which is awesome. I just got to hit a switch and it'll go to whatever one I need to. Uh, next, this is my movie shelf. I've still got a fair few pickups that I've sort of put away for now. I'll do a video on those because I'm still waiting on a couple to come in the mail. Uh, I've just got a few box sets up the top. And then, yeah, I'll be doing more in-depth stuff on my movies another time, but just sort of a quick look at them, I guess. Yep, 
yeah, again, guys, big thanks on the 100 subscribers. Um, when I started this channel, I was really surprised when I even hit like 25 subscribers. Like, it's just a hobby for me. Um, I'm not trying to make it big on YouTube or anything like that. I've just seen other people do it, and I thought, you know, I can do that. It'll be a bit of fun. Again, sorry about the lighting. It's pretty bad. Um, they got some cool little figures over here. I uh, got some more box sets up the top. Skins, awesome show. Beavis and Butthead, one of my favourite animated shows. Uh, and these are like my games. A few CDs up the top there. Not really big into game collecting as much as I used to be. Um, I don't know, just sort of... I liked really just collecting my horror movies right now. Um, and my figurines. Really big into figure collecting. Those Pokemon editions are pretty hard to find now. Complete in box. A few Nintendo 64 games. I got my few of my Goosebump books. Really love those. There's a shop in town actually that's got a bunch of these, but they have them for sale at five dollars a piece at a used box bookstore. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna go in there one day once I make a list of what I have and see if she'll do a deal on them. A few South Park figures, more Goosebump books. Um, some 360 stuff. Original Xbox. Down the bottom here, I've just got a, um, like wrestling DVDs. Uh, some UFC, some bodyboarding. And this is sort of like, uh, live bands. Uh, and some stand-up comedy stuff. Uh, also, if anyone was thinking, what are these Game Boy things? Um, they're sort of ones I made myself out of like DS cases. I'll just try and pop it open. You can actually modify them to hold Game Boy cartridges and the manuals. And just print your own um, I guess cover online. And you've got yourself a case for... I guess it's like some loose Game Boy games, which is really cool. Uh, one of my favorite pieces in this room is my Sideshow Premium statue of Boba Fett from The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this thing is huge, uh, has so much detail. Pretty sure it's numbered underneath, but it weighs a ton. I think it's out of like 2,000 or 2,500. Coming down the glass cabinet, I've got my Black Series one-to-one -one scale Vader helmet. That's a really awesome piece. I've got my one-to-one -one scale uh, Stormtrooper helmet from A New Hope. Uh, it's an official prop replica from EFX Collectibles. Really awesome. Love those two helmets. Down here... Uh, one of my favourite parts of the collection. I'm big into Pokemon. I know some people aren't, but especially the original three at the front to have them complete in box. Um, one of the first games I ever played was Pokemon Yellow. I even have a tattoo of it on my leg. Um, but yeah, to have those three in box are awesome. Um, and the other ones as well. That's a Japanese version of Pokemon Green that only came out in Japan when the originals released. So we never got a green version here to match blue, red, and yellow. So I thought I'd grab that. Uh, there's my Game Boy SP there, and a few just little figures. Down the bottom here, I just thought I'd turn these little light things on. Uh, it's like a fan. That's from the Doom Collector's Edition. Then I have Scorpion here from the Mortal Kombat X Collector's Edition which also came with that comic you can see at the back. Uh, then I've got some of my VHS stuff. I've got a lot more scattered around the room, so 
And then I come up, this is all like my TV shows and stuff like that. Uh, big into South Park. Still pretty new to Seinfeld. There's a few other ones in there. Um, big on early Simpsons. It's like the best animated TV show there is, to be honest. Um, but I think a lot of people would disagree with that. Um, up here I have uh, the Game Chasers DVDs, which uh, I'll be doing a separate video on those in the future. Um, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, Clone Wars, Workaholics. A bit of a mixture of stuff I like with my TV shows. Uh, come up to here, we've got a couple of Star Wars tapes. Some little die-cast figures. Love the look of that droid figure there. Um, that's a Kota Bakuya, Darth Maul figure. Um, that's just a Jango Fett from the Black Series. And this massive uh, First Order TIE Fighter. That's a Black Series one. Um, really big piece. It's the only place it'll fit in the room. Um, <laughs> comes with the pilot. You can get the pilot in there, but it's like it's a bit of a pain. So I believe that pilot's only exclusive with that TIE Fighter as well. You can probably see the shutters behind. Uh, this whole wall is a window, <laughs> but I've sort of just used it up as room. I can still access a window there, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we come over to this. Probably my favorite horror piece. Uh, Leatherface, obviously, from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, absolutely love the detail on this figure. Uh, it's a premium sideshow collectible statue. Um, I do have a separate video on this. The base has all um, different scenes from the movie on it. And I think this is numbered to 2,000 pieces as well. But yeah, one of the best pieces I have in the room for sure. Uh, just on the side here, I have a signed West Tigers, I guess, plaque thing. Um, when I was younger, it's, a, it's an Australian rugby league team, for those who don't know. Um, yeah, I've always followed them since I was young. Uh, one time they came to our town when I was about 10, and I got them just to sign that. So I've had that since I was pretty young. More Pokemon stuff. Uh, the first three movies on VHS... Uh, some figures and this big pokeball it's really heavy um, in the back of it it's actually got um, the first nine seasons on DVD so it's pretty cool coming down we got um, just some books some strategy guides um, yeah just don't mind those I got some old bodyboarding magazines some different versions of Monopoly down here is just some miscellaneous stuff, like some jigsaw puzzles, a couple of records, and stuff like that. Uh, this wall, I've got my Dragon Ball Z flag. I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. I know a lot of people don't like it, but each to their own. Uh, these are actually the cards out of the NECA retro cloth figures. I think the artwork on them looks awesome, so I just decided to display them. Um, yeah, I think they just look mad. Like, it'd be good if they did, like, a book, I think, of all the NECA artwork for these horror figures. It would look really cool. Chop Top. Part 2 Jason and Captain Spaulding. Um, I'll show you, I guess, my couch, whatever, lounge. Um, I work at a furniture store in a warehouse, so I got this heavily discounted, which is awesome. Uh, it's all electric, uh, like your recliners and stuff. And you can even, as you can see, the headrest, you can move them. Um, one thing that's cool about them, you can actually turn it on where it goes green and it's it cools your drinks. It's a cooler. Um, and in the middle here, you got power and USBs to charge your phone or controllers or whatever. Um, now I've got my pops. Just on like a floating shelf. Um, got a few loose ones because when I first started getting pops, I um, just used to take them out of the box. But uh, I guess I need as much room as I can. So I started getting them in box so I can stack them. 
Um, that's Geralt from The Witcher 3. I've got Pop Culture exclusive Grady Twins. Pop Culture exclusive Black and White Norman Bates. A few of the 8-bit versions. I have Adam Blake and Onders from Workaholics. That show is fucking hilarious. Uh, a few more pops back here. I love that Hannibal Lecter one. Looks really cool. Buzz and Woody. Notorious B.I.G. Scary Terry. <laughs> uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. Uh, got Wendy and Danny Torrance. Got Jack Torrance up there. And I have this um, Fall Convention exclusive uh, Funko Rock Candies of the Grady Twins, which look really cool. I have the complete Die Hard set of Pops. I don't think I have the variant of Hans Gruber yet, but um, yeah, Die Hard's probably my favorite action movie ever. And then I have this really cool 40th anniversary specialty series like Metallic Xenomorph. Um, I have like Kid Goku and Bulma from the original Dragon Ball. Uh, Shenron. These are like the big pops up the top here, like the six inch ones, I believe. Alien Queen, Balrog from Lord of the Rings, and the Cantina, cantina scene from Star Wars with Greedo and Han Solo. Uh, then I've got my, well, some of my Lego collection, guarded by Vader and some Stormtroopers. Um, I'll start at the top. Huge into Lego Star Wars. It's just really expensive to do. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got a fair few ships. Like, I'm pretty happy with the collection I have now of my Lego. So, got a big ATST, uh, my BB 8, ATAT, or ATST. I can always get them mixed up. I've got General Grievous's bike. These are a few like scenes, like when, like what is it, Revenge of the Sith, when Vader did the big no. <laughs> um, got this scene from Episode One. Obi Wan's behind those little red things while Qui Gon gets his ass handed to him by Darth Maul. And then I got some favourites here of the pod races from Episode One. I got a soft spot for episode one because it was the first Star Wars movie I've seen in theatres. Um, it's far from the worst Star Wars movie for sure. Um, I've got my massive collector's ultimate collector series, X-Wing. This was the first Lego Star Wars piece I bought. So this got me into, I guess, Lego Star Wars. I don't collect any other line of Lego. Um, yeah, there's something about just building the Lego, which makes it cool. Like... I guess once you finish it, you know you've built it. It's not just something you bought and took out of a package. Um, Ultimate Collector Series Snow Speeder, which is awesome. I got that when I was in America. Had to jam the whole box in my luggage bag. <laughs> and when I was there, because I spent over a certain amount, I got a um, like a Scarif Trooper minifig. Uh, come down, I've got... Ultimate Collector Series, General Grievous. This thing's huge. Uh, I've got the Boba Fett and Han Solo in co uh, Carbonite. Little, I guess, display wit. And a huge favourite piece of mine. Uh, if you can't already tell, I'm a big Boba Fett fan. Um, yeah, the Big Slave 1 Ultimate Collector Series. Absolutely love that piece. Uh, in behind, where Vader and that are... Um, a lot of storage for spare controllers, cords. Um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff really that can hide away behind there. Um, come to my massive, well not massive, but big sort of shelf, big cubes of figures. We'll start at the top because i got more Lego Star Wars. Um, this is Krennic's ship from Rogue One. And also a lot of these ones, actually all... These ones up here have um, these 3D printed stands I got from eBay. I can't remember the seller, um, but they look so good, especially with that ship, because you had to have the wings folded up 
to display it. So now it's folded out and makes it look really awesome. I have Kylo Ren's, I guess, TIE Interceptor or TIE Fighter, whatever you want to call it. I have a regular TIE Fighter here from the original trilogy. And then an awesome piece here, I have the Millennium Falcon from A New Hope. I love, that's like a deluxe stand they did, which was really cool. Now I'll just continue up the top here. I got my my attempt at a part four Jason mask. Um, yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out. And I got my Joker mask behind there, just on a, like a R2-D2 thing. And this was a real recent pickup on eBay. Uh, this is the NECA 18 inch uh, Patrick Bateman from uh, Psycho. I don't know what the fuck am I talking about. <laughs> from American Psycho. <laughs> but yeah, this is awesome. It's voice activated. I uh, got it for a steal on eBay actually. It still works. I think it's just missing his knife and maybe a couple of other small accessories, but... For the price that I got him, I'm very happy to have that because I don't have anything American Psycho, like toy-wise. Uh, On to the cubes. Sorry about the lighting as well, guys. I know I've said it a million times. Um, got my Movie Maniacs Jason X up the back there. My uh, NECA clothed Part 2 Jason. And this little set at the front is really cool. Um, I think it's either a 20th or a 25th anniversary set from NECA. Comes with Pamela, The Shrine, and Part 2 Jason. Uh, I got this for a pretty good price a few years ago. Um, and I haven't really seen one since pop up for sale or never really seen one with it. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. This shrine's awesome. And I think at the time too, this is the only way you could get like a Pamela six inch figure from NECA or from any company. I might be wrong, but uh, continuing with the Friday theme, I've got my um, final chapter, Jason with the machete in his face. I've got my part three. Um, that wasn't an ultimate part three. It was one of the older NECA ones that I've had like, it was a battle damage variant. So one has blood on it and the other one's like pretty clean. Then I have my ultimate part six, Jason. Really love that movie. Uh, come to the middle, I got my Freddy vs. Jason piece. Um, also bought this when I was in America. The blue tack's not really sticking, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I had to smuggle that back with me into Australia because I found it for an awesome price over there. Really cool piece. Great movie too. I come over to my little Freddy cube. Got the ultimate Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Just got like a, this is just like a regular NECA new nightmare figure. And Dream Warriors ultimate figure. And I've got him with the syringe fingers. And I got some uh, movie maniacs, Ghostface, Brundlefly, and uh, Terminator. Some really cool, I love those figures. I'll just jump straight down, I guess. Um, at the back I've got a, I think that was an old cult classic, so I don't know if it was McFarlane, I think it was either McFarlane or Necker. Um, Hannibal Lecter, and I just got the Silence of the Lambs VHS behind it. Uh, the Necker Retro Cloth Captain Spaulding. I got the Mezco 12 inch Pinhead from Hellraiser 3. Uh, I got a little glow in the dark Slimer from Ghostbusters. I got this really cool piece from, I uh, forget who it's from, but yeah, obviously Jaws. Um, it is numbered, I think, to either 1500 or 2000 pieces, and they're sort of like on springs. But yeah, it's a really cool piece, and it's sort of like, um, oops, it's like a polystone, so it's really like heavy duty stuff. Uh, come across, got some Evil Dead gear. Got the Ultimate 2 pack um, from Evil Dead 2. Mounted that deer head up there, which is pretty cool. Deadite Ed and Ash. 
for the um, Army of Darkness VHS. And I've got this little piece that came in like a loot crate, loot fright crate, a few months ago. But yeah, I like, I, you probably noticed, I like displaying the ultimate boxes behind. You can fit two in a cube really well, and it looks awesome as like a backdrop. You don't just see a wall. Um, come across here, I've got my Ash vs. Evil Dead Ash from the TV series, um, and like a little pen. And I've got my ultimate Myers from the 2018 Halloween which is a really cool figure uh, coming across I've got my Mezco 112 scale Myers um, I love this figure so much it's good to have one from the original um, pretty kind of expensive but I think it's worth it to have one from the original um, it also came with this like go sheet accessory as well um but i just found an old stand and propped it up on there so sort of get two figures in one if you do it like that i uh, got a mezco sam from trick or treat and this is sort of just a random kind of shelf but i've got a little raptor from jurassic park in the back there um with the two jurassic park vhs tapes Got a sphere from the Arrow Collector's Edition of Phantasm. Uh, I have this, I think this is like a, not a movie maniac, it's like a cult classics uh, leather face figure. Don't know if that's going to focus or not. Probably not, but yeah, really awesome. Love the detail on that. And I got some figures from uh, Andrew's favorite movie of all time, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I know you love this movie, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I was in America when I got those two. Um, I picked up the leather face and I seen Chop Top there, but I didn't grab him. And then the next day I went, yeah, I have to go get Chop Top because he's really the star of that movie. Uh, dropping down, I've got some um, Star Wars Black Series figurines. It's a really good line if you want to collect for Star Wars and it's not too expensive. A little Jawa in the back there. Tuscan Raider, Phasma, Chewy. Yeah, I really like that Kylo and Ray piece though. Looks awesome. Coming across here, I got a few Pez dispensers. Um, the Vader and Luke are like Black Series as well. They're like um, they're like a sideshow piece. They're I got them cheap when Toys R Us were going out of business. They look really really awesome. I just sort of put the lighting effects on. And these were just out of like little blind bags at EB Games. Uh, coming across, I got my Dragon Ball Z shelf. Um, really love these pieces. Uh, this is an SH Figure Arts Piccolo. Super detailed. Um, the trunks at the back was out of a Dragon Ball Xenoverse Collector's Edition for PS4 a few years back. Um... I forget where I got this. Per like, I got this perfect sell off eBay, but I can't remember the brand. Um, this is such a detailed piece. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but one of my favorites. And also this freezer, which is pretty rare now. Had to import this from Japan like years and years ago. Um, never seen another one for sale. But yeah, like it's, I love it. Freezer's one of the best villains. Freezer and Cell, easy. <laughs> uh, back to some more horror stuff. I've got um, 2017's It, Pennywise. Got the retro Herbert West from Reanimator. Absolutely love that movie. And the uh, Chucky Ultimate Figure, which is one of the best. Well, it's the only Chucky thing I have toy wise but if you're after just one Chucky figure I think this one is awesome to get so many accessories and different head sculpts and stuff coming along have an ATST that's a black series one um, and also a black series scout trooper with its um, speeder bike uh, I've got the ATST in America again 
I literally took back one suitcase of clothes and a whole suitcase of toys and figurines. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, this is like a Walmart exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I thought I seen on their website. But yeah, I really love that piece. I've always liked the look of that uh, vehicle in Star Wars. Coming down here, the lighting might be pretty bad. Um, big fan of Rick and Morty. Um, one of the better, I guess, newer animated TV shows. I think it's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, I highly suggest if you if you like some crude humor and stuff like that, give it a watch. Some more Rick and Morty stuff. These figures were cool if you bought. There's only five for sale. Um, not this one in the middle. But each piece, each figure you bought, you got a piece for this one. So, had to get all them. Oh, I love this statue or thing here. Looks really cool. Um, coming across, I have my Beast Wars um, collection. Like, I'm sure people are familiar with it. Um, Spin-off of Transformers back in the day. I think it's like a sub-series of Transformers. Grew up watching Beast Wars. Um, started collecting them a couple of years back. I remember having that um, Transmetal Tarantulas, I believe the name is, back when I was younger. So it's an awesome one to have. Got like Waspinator, Quick Strike. So they're all the Predacons. And I've got a few Primals, um, Silver Bolt. I haven't got him in robot form because he's missing a few parts. I got Cheetor and I got Optimus Primal. Another one I had when I was younger, so I had to pick him up. Um, missing a few pieces like his chest plate and the piece at the back that holds that gun turret in, but for the price I got him, I can't complain. Uh, coming across, I got my little Simpsons figures. Again, like the best animated TV show of all time. Uh, picked up a lot of these figures off a lady had a big bunch of them on a local swap and sell site. I think that's actually a vintage Bart Simpson at the back there, that big one. And also that Krusty Burger flag was actually from Krusty Burger at Universal, Universal Studios when I was over there. Okay, last little bit. Got a pretty big remote control Mario from Mario Kart. Looks really cool. Uh, I've got this big troll with a dwarf from um, the Lord of the Rings War in the North Collector's Edition. I have this gold scorpion from a different version of Mortal Kombat X. And I got a Vault Tech lunchbox with a little bobblehead. And then these couple are just sort of storage for random junk, just stuff that I don't have room for. And I've got a few other um, cubes, I guess, if I expand on figures. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the whole room. Um, again, if you want me to do videos on something uh, more in depth on a certain item, let me know. Um, and also, once again, thank you so much, everyone, um, for subscribing. Hitting 100 is a huge milestone for me anyway. Um, yeah, big thank you to everyone. It means a lot. It really does. Um, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this room tour. Just do another little pan around. But, yeah, I'll say it again, but thank you so much. Uh, for 100 subscribers. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video.